Hi, this is Peter Wilk, the environmental inspector and instructor. Uh, we are called very often to do asbestos inspection and we need to find out, to begin with, uh, what inspection they are looking for. Do they want to find out if materials contain asbestos, like let's say uh, this wall contains asbestos, maybe the joint contains asbestos, maybe flooring contains asbestos, ceiling, insulation material, or they want to find out if they are exposed to asbestos. This is actually called asbestos hazard assessment. And most of the time, actually, people are looking for the, uh, the second one, the asbestos hazard assessment, because they want to find out if there's any dust which contains asbestos which they may be exposed to. So actually, for this uh, purpose, uh, there's a very simple method, which is called uh, the PCM air sampling. Actually, I have a bunch of cassettes here. Uh, this is actually PCM cassette. It looks like this, a very simple device. Uh, which uh, is to be put on the uh, this pump hose. This pump will pull the air through the cassette. Uh, that would settle on the filter, and we can check the filter. We can analyze it for asbestos, actually for the uh, fiber count. Uh, so once we collect air, right, we're gonna analyze filter. We're gonna see if there's anything which looks like fiber elongated. Why we do it? Pretty much because asbestos is always a fiber. So if I see some particle which is not elongated, it's not asbestos, for sure. So this way we cannot tell you what kind of asbestos you have, but we can tell you if you contain fiber, probably 95% of you have a chance that you, that you have asbestos in your air. Also with this method comes a uh, reoccupancy or clearance level, so we can tell you if you are on it or below it, so we can actually assess your place for the asbestos hazard and uh, we, can, we can really give you a good idea what's going on. Uh, a variation of this cassette, which is called PCM, which is very inexpensive, by the way, we're talking about only, only a couple of hours to analyze it, is the uh, cassette which is called TEM. looks almost identical. You know, we can tell pretty much by the label uh, that this is TEM. And also works the same way. So we put it on, the, uh, on, the, on this hose, we collect the air. Of course, we have to measure how much air goes through it, so we know uh, we can so we can come up with a unit per volume. But this cassette, this method would allow us to name type of asbestos which was detected. So it's not more anymore a fiber count method, which only tells you that we see fiber and we can tell you how much. But this tells you know, we can see actually asbestos fiber. We can tell you how much. So this method is as superior to PCM. And again. Uh, you probably would ask me why, why do we even bother with this method since we have this no TM method which actually names asbestos quantified so uh, it, it, it's, it's a perfect method. Well, the price rise. This is probably uh, almost 10 times more expensive than this one. That's why you know, like, if we can use this method, we prefer to use it and start with it. If the results are confusing or inconclusive, we may go to step 2, TM, but most of the time we uh, have actually have a very good answer by PCM. So this actually would explain why would you do asbestos hazard assessment. It would allow you to know what are you exposed to, what are you breathing. If you really want to check your place for asbestos material, which is called ACM, asbestos containing material, then we have to collect number of samples from these materials, we have to analyze them and tell you if they contain enough asbestos, which is actually 1% of asbestos or above, which would, which, would, which would put them in category of asbestos containing materials which are regulated. So that will be asbestos material testing. If you have any questions, please call us.